In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert video files into your websites. Okay, it's going to look something like this, a bit like a YouTube uh, player, if anything. You've got your video here, and you can press play. You can watch the video. It has got a bit of sound. Well, we're at Caloundra on the Sunshine Coast. Okay. You get the idea. You can mute it. You can scrub through it. You can adjust the volume. You can even go into full screen. Okay, so a handy little player. Use a bit of HTML5 to get this working. So what we're going to do to get started today is pop into our accounts and make a new video folder up. And inside of that, you just need a copy of the video you intend to use in this uh, website. Okay, mine's called video.mp4. That's another thing I need to talk about quickly, file types. Uh, there's only three file types that are read by HTML5. Uh, MP4 is one of them. That's what I'm using today. The other file types are the OGG or OG files. And the final type that's acceptable is a WebM file. Okay, those last two I haven't really heard much about, so try and stick with MP4 files to put into your website. Okay, you know they will be acceptable in HTML5 standards. So to get started on the coding, we're going to pop into brackets and make a new document up, and we're going to quickly save that document into our new folder that we just created. There it is, and I'm just going to call it video.html. From there, we can put in our doc type tag to tell the computer we're about to make a HTML document up, and then we can put in our HTML tags to start our web page. In the head section today, again, we've just got a simple title that's it's going to say video, and that's our head section finished. Below the head section, we will begin our body section where we're going to put this video into our website. Put a video in, it's very similar to audio. Okay, we just need to open up some pointy brackets and write the word video, and we're going to write the word controls after it. Okay, like with um, the audio, you can replace the word controls, and instead, you can write autoplay, and that will allow the video to play automatically as soon as your website loads. But as I've said in the past, probably not the best idea because people probably don't want the video to play automatically, they want to chew up their data and they don't want the sound to play unexpectedly. So it's best to not write contents, but best to write controls in there so the user has control over the video. Okay. Then on the next line we're going to open up some more pointy brackets and we're going to write source and then put a space and write SRC and we're going to simply put the file path in quotation marks. And that's the file path to our video. So mine's just video.mp4. The final thing we need to do is just tell the computer what type of video file that is. So we write in the word type and equals, and in quotation marks, we just write that it's video and a forward slash. I'm going to write mp4 as it is an mp4 file. Close your pointy brackets off, and that's it. Those three lines of code it will put a video into your website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just press Control S to save that. Run the live preview lightning bolt over there just to make sure it's working. Looks good so far. Yep. So that looks very good. One thing you can change in your video controls here, what you can put in, uh, just after the word video there, you can adjust the size of your video. So I'm going to change the width of it. I might make it about 800. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. It's going to become a bit pixelated because I am uh, expanding the size of the video, but you should be able to see that you can resize the videos to a larger size. Okay, If you want to go smaller, you might just want a little one that's say 300 pixels wide. So if we go back and you can see we've got a small video player now. Alright, you don't need to adjust the height. As long as you adjust the width, it's going to adjust the height for you and it's going to keep the video in proportion, which is what I recommend. So if you do need to adjust the width, that's the section to do it. Okay, so make sure your web page is saved up, and that's it. That is how you put a video into one of your web pages.